So hello everybody, into this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the max of a measure. It's not only going to, I mean you can apply it for more things than max, but I'm going to show you the max and then you can extrapolate to other functions. And I'm going to show you the thought process, how you can think about solving these and how you can troubleshoot your measures. We will do everything. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I have here a data set from Google public data sets. I have a video on that in case you want to go and check it out. And what I've grabbed here is um, bike sharing data for Austin, Texas. Okay, so I have two tables that are important for, for this exercise. I have the bike sharing trip. So this is a table that contains every single trip that somebody has booked. You can see the trip ID. So it's every individual trip is important for later. And then here I have a dimension table or a lookup table with bikes, the, the stations itself. It's on direct query, but don't worry about that. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to drop the name of the station and I want to know how many uh, rides each station has had. So I've created a simple measure that is a counting you know, to count the number of rows per station, you could obviously count the number of rows, but I read somewhere that count rows is a more efficient way to do this. So I'm actually counting every single row on the trips table. And if I put these together with my station names, you're going to see that you don't see anything because it's so small, but in a second, you're going to see uh, the results. And it's just simply a table with a name and every single trip for every single station. Good. Okay. Now, what I wanted to do next, I wanted to calculate the max and the mean. So which station had most of the rides and which station had the minimum of the rides? Because I wanted to put this into buckets. So if you need to calculate the max, you cannot do max of trips. Because as you, I showed you previously, these every line because it contains one bike right so there's no table that is being aggregated so as always with DAX there's a thousand million one ways to do things one thing you could do you could summarize this table and create basically this table either on the fly on a separate table and then do the max there the normal max but we know better than that don't we okay so we're going to do it a little bit more elegant way so if we try to use max, you might say, okay, use the function max. There's, we know that there is one and then put trips in there. Well, there is a slight problem. Max does not allow for uh, measures in, uh, I'll show you. So max trips is equal, uh, equal to, and you put max, and then you see here that it says column names. <laughs> it's just not going to let you what does it let you put what it, you're joking yeah okay <laughs> okay exactly so the max function only accepts a column it's just telling us oh, that was neat thank you okay so how do we do it you can go to the dax reference from microsoft and then say okay what options do i have for max and you have actually a few you have max max a max x x there are more to calculate the max, but let's simplify. You know, that, that's one of the wonderful things about DAX that also makes it a little bit difficult. There are so many options. So if we look at this max x, it says here that it allows for a table and an expression. An expression is, could, you know, one of the things that is, is, is a measure. So we can actually put a measure in here. Like, mm, okay, so maybe this is something that we can use. If we go in here, if, and I ask, let me do like, that, get rid of that, put a max x. The first thing is is a table. So we want to have the max of the bike share stations. So if I put that table in there, right, then I can just put the trips in there. And it's not giving me an error, thumbs up. Okay, we're all happy campers, let's put it in there and it's calculated. It's, 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 I think it's like a million row tables. And as you can see, it's not giving us the expected 
solution. Why? Well, here's the thing. The spectre solution is at the total. And that should give you an idea of like what's going on. So if I put the trips in order in here, maybe I should pick smaller <laughs> smaller data set for this. You can see that the max is this, which it matches to the to the bottom, to the yeah, grand total. So what's going on? Think about it. So the grand total is okay, but not every line. It means that these rows are acting as filters to your measure. So what this is doing is he's saying, okay, in this table, give me, it brings the table, it gives the entire table. We could actually limit it if we knew that it was just name, we could limit it to name, but let's leave it for now. It goes in here, it brings the table and it says, okay, give me the max. But because it has this, it will pass this as filter. So give me the max of 21st speedway, which is, yeah, the same number. So that doesn't work. What we need to do is to block the filters. We don't want to have these filters in here. You should ignore it completely. So ignore, remove filters. Do we hear an all? <laughs> I think we do. Okay. So all basically remove the filters. Let's put it in there. You could put all of the table or if you are again only using the name you could put it just the name so it is more effective but because we want to make it as dynamic as possible we put that like that and then press enter we cross our fingers that's how we do tags around here <laughs> i hope for the best this calculating again you see the uh, and there we have it now we have the max and as you can see it's matching the grand total so why was the grand total giving us the correct answer Here's the thing, the grand total does not have the row filter supply. There are no filters in here. The, to the total is like everything. Give me everything and then do the max. That's why it was giving us the right result. <laughs> okay. So if you want to do the mean, obviously you just put the mean in there and then you're good to go. So I hope that this video helps you a little bit more, obviously how to fix this doing calculations, <laughs> max calculations on a column, on a measure, but also how to think around DAX and not to travel a little bit. Okay, I will see you again on Monday as always, so enjoy your weekend. It's going to be, I think, all around here, so we will see. But enjoy your weekend. I will see you on Monday. Take care.